another episode of Yo Estoy Abajo con sus afritriones, Jorge Gutierrez and myself. Today, we want to speak on a very important topic. I want to tell you today, guys, let me write, let me write a little bit, how crazy our world is. All right. So, you know, I'm always looking at my news. Like, every morning I start my news, just kind of read on. And uh, I think this is this week, maybe last week, I was blown away by this, right? The highest earning oh. YouTuber uh -huh. this year. Hmm? All of YouTube, all videos, all influencers, highest earning was a seven year old boy who dedicates his videos to open box toys or whatever it's called, right? So mm -hmm. unboxing, oh, toys. unboxing toys. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. You know, a couple of months ago, by y'all would be like, what have we come to? Now I realize that I like vision. Mm -hmm. I could have been opening toys. Mm -hmm. I love toys. I could have been opening toys and make, I think he made millions this year. He, he made like Paul Logan and all those other dudes that are make, like make millions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. You, you sent me the story. Yo, he's seven years old. So, cheers to his dad and his mom and whoever else for having the vision to let him record this. We are living in a different kind of world. Yo, you know, and I like those kind of stories because I think it shows the older crowd, the people that that aren't, you know, with mm -hmm. the with the with the train yet, that it's not about going to school and getting the nine to five anymore. You know what I mean, it's not about oh, follow this path that everybody's mm -hmm. been following for the last fifty years. You know what yeah. I mean, it's it's trying to show people a whole different thing. Today, I went to YouTube. I go to trending. The number one video that popped up was titled "How to Make a uh, Miniature Food Slime." We talked about slime a long time yeah. ago about how there's people on YouTube. I think we posted that video. Huh? I think we posted nah, we, we didn't. We didn't. Peep this. This girl has over 12 million subscribers, right? Piling millions of views, hundreds of thousands of views, and all of her videos are literally slime-based <laughs> videos. That's now crazy. the ad revenue alone on those videos, I didn't do no research on her, nothing. I just I can only imagine though. Twelve million subscribers, a hundred thousand views, your ad revenue is out the roof. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you're sure. you're not dude, you're literally waking up, right, and filming what you like to do every single day, posting on YouTube and making big money. Not yeah. even like not oh you make it cool, like no, no no like you're, you're making, making more six than your figures, parents. Yeah, you're making for more sure, than probably your potentially millions of dollars yeah. a year doing you, what you, you actually like to do. Your parents get retired because you make your videos. And that's a, that, um, we, I remember we made a, a, a thing a long time ago about about girls, right? And oh, do girls like the the tide or everything? So I asked, I asked Fatima. Also, oh, what if like you know your dude or whatever made millions of dollars, but his job title what he did for a living was making slime? Which she, well, I, I probably wouldn't tell my friends, right? The whole being ashamed of the, the whatever, right? There's we're starting to move away now from this whole like. Oh, bro, you gotta be an executive. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be a VP. You gotta be a CEO. Bullshit. Cause we got fuckers making all types of stupid shit yeah, online. Cause, cause, yo, money talks. talks. Money talks. Like you, I, my opinion is only valid until the check comes through. Mm -hmm. Cause then my opinion does not match up to a million dollars. You know what I'm mean? saying? Exactly. Like, I was just telling you the story about Carl Lentz, yeah. right? And uh, he's he's telling his son, you know, his son plays video games. He was telling his son. Uh, you know, yo, you need to go outside, you need to play more outside, you need to go play some basketball, play some sports. And one day, he's had it. One day, he's like, you know, you spent too much time inside, now you're going to go outside and just play, play, play. That same day, uh, he stumbles upon a link uh, about Ninja, right? Ninja, for those of you who don't know, is, uh, I think, the, the top earning video game player in the world, right? Oh, uh, yeah, for, and, for, um, for Fortnite. Fortnite, right? And so he, he streams on Twitch, make him like crazy amount of money, right? People and donate. He, yeah, exactly. Know. He's the one that played with Drake, if you guys are familiar with that story, yeah. right? And so he almost plays with stars, right? Famous people. So he gets this thing, and Forbes says he's the highest earning video game player, I think this year or last year, one or the other, right? He was highest earning. He made millions. That same Same video game. That same day, Collins comes to his son and he goes, Hey, uh, <laughs> do you need a new chair? Do you need a new headset? What do you need? New control? Because... If you are not in it, you don't realize how our world is not working. Mm -hmm. And someone, I'm, I'm still, we're still pretty young, but I'm still mind blown by a lot of these things because it's like, you know, that's not the world I was raised to think exactly. of. You know, look, there's the, the, the thing that people don't realize. People look at these platforms as whatever. Yeah, I mean, they're just another thing. Now, okay, look, back then, right? Let's say when television started, right? Mm -hmm. These networks that had all this money and stuff started up, TBS, whatever, right? Now, companies realize, okay, we have 
thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people watching this network, mm -hmm. this channel. We have eyes there, right? Let's pay these networks to get me money so that we can run ads, mm -hmm. blah, 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 right? Now, for millions and millions of dollars later and billions or whatever, right? Later, and years and years and years, right? Um, these companies have been giving these networks money, right? To, yo, look, here's, a, I don't know, $100,000, yeah. $100 million, whatever, right? So, you know, I'm all, you run this commercial this many times yeah. later, right? Okay, that's where the attention was at. Yeah. Now the attention shifted to, well, there's more people watching YouTube videos than there are people watching oh, K-pop. Yeah. No, no, it's not probably, that's literally yeah. a statistic. Like, there's more people yeah. watching YouTube than there is people watching yeah. because, you know, you watch TV, like, you have to watch this, right? At this time, whatever. YouTube, you have your pick, right? Yeah. You watch whatever you want, whatever show, uh, whatever. So now, companies are doing, that's the exact same shit. You know I mean? The same thing as the Instagram. Like, yo, the attention is here. People are watching your thing. People are liking your thing. You're interacting with your people. They listen to you. You get me? They trust you. So, you know, represent yeah. our brand. Yeah. And that's where this money goes to yeah. you and blah, blah. And that's basically how the whole thing yeah. works. And, and, and we're, we're, familiar, we're familiar with how expensive ads can be. For example, with the Super Bowl. You yeah. know, like, I think a 30-second ad is a couple million dollars yeah. in the Super Bowl, right? It's insane. Because it's one of the most viewed uh, you know, sporting events. Mm -hmm. But it's just crazy to me how how we can criticize something we don't understand until the facts are there, you know? Yep. Because people are telling you that, oh, you know, social media is the way, social media is the way, and we know it's a tool, and we know it's practical for businesses, especially, you know, like, you know, the whole idea of tag the place, you know, review the place, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. then the Google searches would also move it up and all this idea, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. All stuff is part of social media, you guys didn't know, you know, it's not just the ads, but the whole idea of, you know, if you review a place more, you, and then the search filter will move it up, oh, right? Yeah. And so... It's just crazy to us that now, you know, you have bridges all the time. Like you don't have to live by this, you know, square idea of a lifestyle. But realistically, now there's lots of evidence where you can chase your dream. And if you have enough passion, perseverance, and drive, it can make you successful. Like in, in ways that you didn't have to go to business school to understand the business model. You didn't have to have a, a MBA or some other kind of degree. You can just chase your passion, understand that the kind of people you focus on, the focus group, mm -hmm. right? And just post videos and yes, work your angle or whatever. And, and work, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it's going to be the consistency, yeah, yeah. the passion, the yeah. to understand that, you know, you're doing something, whether it's for a hobby or whatever, yeah. but just the consistency of yeah, it. You, you just, just got to saturate the market, yeah. right? You put saturate. a lot of more product there, there's more chances that one video will blow up, the people will attach followers and blah, blah, blah. But uh, you saturate the market, and, and so that will help you through that. But I was blown away by a seven-year-old dude being the highest earning YouTuber this year. That's insane. Right? For, for reviewing toys. Reviewing people toys. be like, what the hell? What, like? Yeah, first of all, like, you know, I've never seen a video. I probably should have. Right? But I've never seen a video. But I imagine, you know, he's still seven, so he's still just enjoying the toy. Of course. I mean, and, you it's know, not like he's giving you like, oh, look, it looks cheap. Yeah. It looks not. Nah. He's yeah. telling you like, hey. Something a lot of people need to understand is, is kids run it, period. Like, when Justin Bieber was coming up, Justin Bieber had all the little elementary schoolers, all the mm. middle schoolers, wow. Yeah. You know I mean, wild. You know I mean, and those kids grow up with that yeah. you know that that thing that yo like i like this mom buy me this mom yeah. buy me that uh, like my little sister was infatuated with this guy like, my dad had to take her to the movie right the movie that he had or whatever bought her a justin bieber notebook and pillow and i don't know what else like fucking merch that they're selling like in hot topic yeah. at the time or whatever and you know like these these kids like uh, are the biggest parts of of these youth yeah. anyway they, they have yeah. the most yeah, time watching this stuff yeah. and, you know it's crazy, man. It's crazy. And, and, and I'm telling you, so this kid's already young. I have a niece. She's four. Dude, this girl, <laughs> she, she is incredible with the phone. Mm -hmm. She'll ask, Grandma, can I borrow your phone? She'll just, YouTube. She'll know what to pause. Yeah. She'll know what like to switch the orientation. She'll know what video she wants to see next. And she'll minimize that video to continue watching while she's looking for another one. Yeah. And I'm blown away because, you know, this, this little girl that's four, she can barely write her own name. Mm -hmm. but, but she can manage she the YouTube app. Right. And when you understand that that's what the world is moving forward to, you realize that. Swallow your words. Things are still being discovered, discovered. Mm -hmm. so take that jump and dive into whatever you this want. This is only the beginning. Yeah. This is literally the beginning of, yeah. of, of things, yeah. you know, and how we're switching. So, yeah, man, th this is this is literally, and I like how you want this. This is just to like, I, I like that you brought this up because, n listen, not everything revolves around what everybody else is doing. Mm -hmm. You get me? Sometimes you just have to find your own way, your own and pursue thing, it, yeah. and pursue it. You get me? And when people doubt you, be like, I don't know if you should do that, I don't know if you should do that, but if you feel like you should in your heart, if like you feel that that you have to do that do that don't let people sway you into thinking that you shouldn't do something because everybody else doesn't do mm -hmm. it that's not the smart path that's not what everybody's done do what you gotta do you know what I mean for your own happiness and for your own 
sanity for sure. Yeah. I like that you feel today. So, man. Till next time, y'all. Thank you. For now, we're unboxing toys here. <laughs> <laughs>